I'd like to call to order the uh, Utility Service Board for the City of Lawrence on this uh, 10th day of September 2019. Uh, we do have all members present, so we do have a quorum. Uh, and uh, we will begin with the approval of the minutes. The minutes were sent out to you for your uh, review. I would entertain a motion that we approve the minutes from the August 27, 2019 meeting. Also moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any additions or corrections to those minutes? <laughs> if not, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Unanimously approved. Payment of claims. The claims were sent out to you for review by email. I would entertain a motion that we approve the claims. So moved. Second. And moved and seconded. Is there any discussion regarding any of the claims? If not, all those in favor of payment of the claims, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay. It is unanimously approved. Unfinished business. The item on our unfinished business is a release of covenant at 6605 Attics Woods Court. I understand that that will need to be tabled again because the paperwork is not, not, ready. not completed as of yet. Mr. President. Mr. Superintendent's report. You skipped Scott's report. Pardon? You skipped Scott's report. Oh, I'm sorry. Scott, your report. Uh, yep. <laughs> don't want to skip that. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, that's the uh, one document I did not print and bring with me. Your report. My report, yes. You have it. Okay, so um, we just we've got a few things on the agenda tonight. Uh, first, being the uh, the uh, notice of award of the uh, um, or the award of the uh, Franklin Road Water Main Project, and we've got uh, Renee uh, Goff with uh, Shrewsbury here. Um, uh, so we're looking at uh, uh, awarding the project uh, based on Renee's recommendation um, to. Um, I believe that was Midwest Mole. And uh, the, we had uh, two bids, if you recall. The one from TSW we had disqualified because it was uh, non-responsive because they uh, failed to include uh, uh, or acknowledge the uh, addendum number two. So that's automatic grounds for. I, uh, if you don't mind, I have a question about that. Sure. Um, I read the report, and I saw what you just said to be true, that uh, they had left something out of their bid so that this mm -hmm. qualified him from being considered for the job. Right. So we uh, opted to approve the second bid. Yes. Uh, and my question was this. The engineer's quote for this job was like 120000 less than the amount that we approved? Yes. So my question is, did the omission by the first company amount to that great of a difference? And why was the engineer's bid or, or, or guesstimate on what the job would cost so much less than the contractor who we... Well, and I think that's, that's why we have Renee here okay. to speak to those concerns. Hi, Renee Goff with Shrewsbury & Associates. So breaking these two issues apart... TSW's failure to um, acknowledge addendum two has nothing to do with the differences between the two. Okay. Um, their bid, they simply did not use the correct bid form because addendum two had a corrected bid form in it. As far as the discrepancy between the engineer's estimate and the bids, because both bids were higher than the engineer's estimate and considerably so in my opinion as well, I was expecting to see something maybe 10 or 15 percent difference, not 23, I think it was, percent difference between the two. Would that be plus or minus? Yes, plus or minus 15 okay. percent difference. Right. Um, in this case, obviously, it was on the high side. Right. 
the difference that I've been able to find, because we've spent these two weeks kind of digging through everything to see if there was something we missed, something that the contractor saw that we didn't see, and really the only thing that we can find is the cost of materials right now seem to be that much higher than we had anticipated um, both when we started this project, because we've updated this estimate multiple times over the last three or four years, obviously. Um, it was quite a shock to us to see asphalt numbers come in as high as they were. And then the asphalt tonnage alone was seven, six and a half times what we had anticipated it to be. And some of that has to do with demand right now. And that is what we heard from the contractors when we went back and asked about differences between the two as well. That's why we were recommending to move forward with um, just moving forward with the bids you have now versus rebidding the project. The concern being if we re rebid the project at this point, you may see numbers even higher than the numbers that we got in this time. That's kind of what we've seen in the past when we rebid projects like this with this large of a difference. So, so do we have any indication what that difference might be that we can say that if we we open the bid for someone else that it's going to come in higher? I mean, are you just, I, mean, I don't understand why we, we don't, we, higher. yeah, we don't really have any knowledge at this point that would say you're going to see higher bids. We also don't have any knowledge to say you're going to see any lower bids. <coughs> so. Other questions? Not the monies we have budgeted are adequate uh, yes to cover we, have, we have plenty of money and capital uh, available to do this the other thing I might want to point out too is timing is critical on this job as well so you know with with these other issues notwithstanding we do want to get Franklin Road done we've as you know we've already awarded the 47th Street uh, project between Rich Art and Franklin they're working. They're starting on the Rich Art end because they we've got to get that work completed before the stormwater project starts, which they'll be bidding out in October. So we need to get our work complete on that end. But then they'll be working towards Franklin. So what we'd like to do is get the Franklin Road work done before the uh, fr the 47th Street engineer or uh, contractor gets down to Franklin. So it's all. It's all kind of linked in together, but uh, timing is is an important consideration here too. The sooner we can get this job going, the better. So I'm just going to ask the question. I'm a little bit in the gray for you. Um, I, I understand you said that you, it was unforeseen costs, correct? You guys were pretty broadsided by what it was going to take, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah. guess I'm just trying to figure out. I guess we have you in place so that that doesn't happen, if I understand correctly. We always hope that that's the case, yes. I I can't say that I've ever seen one. My personal experience, I've not had one come in this far off before, correct. But it, it does happen from time to time where we get a large swing like this when there's a lot of demand and other projects going on that have labor forces spread thin by contractors that we, we have across the profession seen things like this happen from time to time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would note that that is, that is true that's going on right now. I mean, we, as yeah. you can see from some of the other projects, it's, it's hard right now even getting contractors to bid work. It's, it's just the, the way uh, their, their schedules are and they're booked up and it's hard. hard to demand. Yeah. I, I get it, but okay. Okay. Personally, I just think that the difference and the bid that was issued, and the engineer's guesstimate of what the job should cost, I looked at it, it was 120000 I think it's a little high. Um, I really haven't heard anything to, to convince me that if we reopen those bids, that we won't get a better bid or maybe even the same bid from the person who we are considering awarding the contract to right now. And that's great with Terry. That's just how I feel. Yeah, and that's that's the prerogative of the board. Um, right. So. Well, we get ourselves a little bit behind schedule, behind eight ball schedule wise, if we do that. Well, that's that's my concern. That's why, and, and I, I'm not concerned about the capital money. I mean, we have capital available to, to do the work, obviously, but. But it's it's the timing, getting these these projects done, getting them out of Franklin Road before the other contractor gets down to Franklin Road. 
but we want this this project work done first. Um, so if we if we decide to just uh, throw throw this all out and rebid, then of course we've got to go through another uh, advertising uh, period, um, and then you know another uh, uh, pre bid meeting, uh, all, all all that stuff. So we're we're pushing out another another thirty days at least, if not longer. Right. Actually, probably pushing into the next construction season almost by the time we get. That would be my recommendation. If you're pushing the bids, it, right. would, it would be Coming wait the, until you know, the spring. Winter time. Depending on how the winter goes, if we mm -hmm. wait too long and, and, yeah. we, and we lose the weather, then we're, then we're into next season, maybe. Okay. Well, uh, we're, we're, actually, we're still under. Uh, Scott's report, so uh, we, will, we will come back to this okay. under new business. Okay, and then so uh, the next thing on the agenda or that, that we're looking to get done tonight is the uh, approval of the, this will be the final change order for the Richard Street project. So that work uh, consists of um, some additional drainage that was uh, uh, required uh, due to a, a, a basically what that was called like a bust in the elevation that we encountered during the construction. So we had to add a run of pipe and a, an additional structure to make sure that that site drained properly. And we also added some additional asphalt uh, uh, over and above what was originally planned. And it was primarily on the south side of the plant uh, where we our, our guys when they when they pull in and they load up uh, material around the back of the maintenance garage, hydrants, valves, you know, stuff for a job like that. Then they would typically pull around the south side of the garage to go back out instead of having to back, you know, a trailer and all that stuff. So um, during the course of the project, we found that that going around the side there, we didn't we didn't have that asphalt wide enough for them to make the big turns with the, the bigger trucks and trailers on them. So we added some asphalt there and um, and then also uh, uh, some additional stone uh, uh, for an access drive to the existing list station on the south side. Then the uh, final piece of that change order is a, um, I have it in here somewhere. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interlock. Uh, it's an electrical interlock uh, including the installation of five relays and some uh, wiring uh, for additional uh, controls to wells one, two, and three, and high service pumps one, two, and three. So we're looking to get that approved. Um, get and this this again. This is the final final change order, and then we close this project out. And then uh, finally, we have um, well, just. Uh, You've already approved this, but just so you know, we are uh, processing uh, pay app uh, number one for lift station 19. And then the, the final uh, thing I just want to do is just uh, remind everybody that we are into our fall water main flushing program. So uh, just want to make that public. And that's, that's basically all I have right now. Any further questions for Scott? On your yeah, about report? the only thing I can say about it, Scott, I, I do take the time to read these reports, and one of the, and, it, and I thought that uh, this change order uh, that you were in agreement that it was it needed to be done, mm -hmm. and that when the original bid was accepted on this job, that this work was not foreseen. So I can kind of understand. Yes. Why this would be necessary change order. And again, this this is the final one, and then we're, we're rich artists. Will will our next batch of paperwork will be closing the project out with the SRF. Okay. All right, Scott. Well, thank you very much. All right, thank you. So we are going to move forward with the new business, uh, and that first item on the uh, new business is the award of the bid. For the Franklin Road water main replacement project, uh, I would entertain a motion that we approve that. Mr. President, I chair our 
board members' concerns with the bids, but I think we still need to move forward to get this going. So I, I move that we approve the bid. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. So it's been moved and seconded. We go ahead and award this uh, bid. Uh, and I understand it's to Midwest Mole. Uh, discussion. I'm a general contractor. I know how it is. I, I'm too busy sometimes. I'll put a high number on it, and I'll be damned if I get it anyway. <laughs> so. I put a high bid on it so I won't get it, but I get it anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I still feel the same way I felt before. I heard nothing that would make you want to think differently. I don't have anything other to say than what I've already said. Um, make a change uh, as compared to what the engineer suggested the, the job should cost. Uh, that we should, I believe we should uh, try to have it rebid it. That's just how I feel. I just think we should be good stewards of uh, our finances for the citizens of Lawrence for sure. And I don't know if it's important to do it because of the season and spend all the additional money. My thoughts. Uh, Scott, I have a question for you, I guess. Uh, we, I, ha I don't have a list here to keep track, but I think we've been uh, pretty good on uh, some other bids that we've taken as far as being under the uh, being under the engineer's estimate, I think we were under on the Shadeland Way project uh, on the 47th Street. I don't remember, Paul. Do you recall if we were under over on that? I believe we were slightly over. So, so uh, I, I mean, it's again, it's it's one of those things you you never know uh, if you're going to come in under or over. I mean, uh, personally, the the amount that we're over. On this, I, I don't think uh, financially. Yes, I, I agree with being good stewards. I, I don't think this is such an amount over. I, I, I mean, I don't think that, that the contractor is gouging us or anything like that. And not only that, but actually, when you get into the project, and, we, and there oftentimes you find out that you get into the project, and, and there might be some things come out of that project that's going to lower that that project cost anyway. <clears throat> and of course, we're, we'll still be dealing dealing with the contractor on a regular basis, you know, checking those, uh, you know, his pay apps and everything. But I, it, it's it's really it's really your decision as the board. Our our recommendation is we we want to move forward with the project, and but you know it's again it's it's your decision as a board. Just but we we don't think it's extraordinarily high or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think Midwest Mall is a, is a company that's worked for us a lot in the past. I think they're really yes, and, we, and we've had very, very good projects with them. They do good quality work, uh, turn their projects in on time. So I, I don't, I, there, there could be any number of reasons as to why there, there's such a, a discrepancy between the, the uh, engineers. Es engineers' estimates aren't always right either. I mean, a lot of times they're very conservative. Uh, I think it's a bit of a catch-22, a supply and demand, as was already stated. Um, but it's just a, a big extreme for me. I understand that you think it's not right. a big deal, but that's just my comment. Well, and I, I recognize your concerns, but it, to me, in the, in the overall picture, when we were talking about the, the millions of dollars of projects that we're, we're pumping out, I, I, I think this little bit of overage here is, is not, you know, a deal breaker. Uh, I don't know if that's even the right term, but I mean, it's, I, I, I don't, it's not to me a great concern. And again, also as we get into the project, it would not surprise me if we didn't see some of those items come down. So uh, our, our engineer thinks that this uh, is somewhat related to the uh, Additional cost for asphalt. Uh, did I hear that correctly? If that's the case, we certainly see a lot of asphalt going down right now. We do. 
Oh. Okay. Hi, Renee Goff again with Shrewsbury and Associates. And not just the asphalt, there were a couple of items that were, from my opinion, considerably large, higher than I would have expected to see them. Uh, fire hydrant assemblies, for instance, I think Dale could probably attest, usually we see those come in between five and $6,000 installed per unit, and this bid was closer to $9,000 installed per unit. And, and when questioned, the contractor's numbers that they have used to put those in, taking a day and a half of man time to get everything in and tested and buttoned up, doesn't seem unrealistic. I used a similar number. It's just where we come up with those other three, that, that other $3,000, I would have to really take some more time to div, dive deeply down with the contractor if they're willing to open their books and show us that information. And that's kind of their prerogative as well to not let us dive that deep into their numbers too. So it wasn't just the asphalt. There were a couple of items that were higher than I, I guess I would have normally seen. So, and I, I wanna just clarify, I don't know if Midwest <coughs> is very, very busy right now as much as some of the subs that they may use to do some of this work may be very, very busy right now. And the fluctuation of cost of materials is definitely this is the up and down that's right the now. SW, well. and that's mm -hmm. Midwest. Mm -hmm. Itemized. Mm -hmm. It's mainly okay. material. That's well, uh, look at the S. No, thank you for the uh, for the information and help. It's all material. Okay. What uh, further discussion within the board? Right there on the paper. Ready to vote. I'm good. Okay. Well, the motion is on the table to award the bid. Uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? I'm staying. Okay. So I have two in favor, one no, and one abstention, and I will vote yes. So it does pass. But I really do appreciate all of you being very conscientious about it. Well, you know, after studying the breakdown, Mr. Chairman, that was attached to the, uh, the bid document that was given to us, I mean, materials are high. I'm a contractor, I know, trying to get concrete. Anybody tries to get concrete today, you're looking at two, three weeks out. I don't care who you are. Uh, asphalt prices are just skyrocketed. Concrete's kind of holding, but materials and all are just or just high right now. It's basically because of the booming economy and you know people are busy. Yeah, I get busy and I don't want to do something, but I don't want to tell them no. So I'll bid it high. <laughs> sometimes I get the job, sometimes I don't, which <clears throat> well, hopefully this contractor really wants to do this job. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that Scott and everybody will have their nose in their business, so I guess one of the things that concerns me is that a, a month or so ago uh, we went to open bids and we didn't have any bids mm -hmm. on the project. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit concerned about rebidding a project. You know, and, and they too may have said, well, you know, this is our bid. If we get it, great. We'll make time for it. If we don't. Yeah. They're, they're local. Yeah, I, I'm not questioning any of the contractors' ability to do the job, but none of us, I mean, myself, I don't consider myself an expert, but uh, the way I understand it, the, the way the process is supposed to work is that our engineer is supposed to be our expert. Right. And they're supposed to look at what is involved in completing the job. And that's kind of what I, I have to go on. I mean, why are we paying someone miss a bid by that much that's my that's my concern well and that, and i think that's a legitimate concern okay up uh, uh item number two approval of change order number nine from graves plumbing company for a richard water treatment plant i would entertain a motion that we approve the change order so moved. second and moved and seconded any discussion on that matter if not, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay. 
that is approved unanimously. Approval of the 2020 meeting dates for the USB. So I had an, all, all had an opportunity to review that. Would entertain a motion that we approve those uh, dates that were sent out for you. So moved. Can I second? It moved and second. <clears throat> discussion. Um, why do we start on the 14th? Fourteen. Shouldn't we start on like the second or? We changed it. What are? I don't. I don't know what went into that, but I think we're all up for renewal as far as our appointments are concerned. So. Uh, yeah, I suppose that would make it the. Uh, and a Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday would be the fifth. Oh, I'm sorry. Seventh is the first, second seventh. and fourth. Yeah, seventh. Second oh. and fourth is what we're comes, doing. We don't have a meeting for the seventh, I guess. Oh, usually we do the second and fourth Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, okay, the 14th. I get, yeah. All right, my bad. Okay. It just seemed like it was way down the road there. Seventh is, would be the first Tuesday because it starts on a Wednesday. The month starts on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, I just thought two, 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 two. <laughs> Further discussion? If not, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those nay. That is approved unanimously. Uh, I'm sorry, Scott. Did you have something else you wanted us to look at? No. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I, I kind of want to reflect back on this. Sorry. I was going to say we had no adjustments if that. Was no, no, I knew that. Yeah. I want to reflect back on our bid we just awarded. The, I mean, compounded by the fact that we just simply need to get it done, too. Um, just want to throw that in there. Well, uh, I appreciate that. Okay, account adjustments. We do not have any. We do not have any remonstration of ratepayer dispute regarding disconnect notice. Yeah, we do not have any citizens here for citizens' comment. Mr. Chairman, I move we adjourn. Second. second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you all. Aye.